Hi everyone. I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend um, and have been able to get outside. It's been beautiful outside. So um hope you guys are getting that, that time to just go out there and just take in everything that God has created for us. Um, um, but we miss you guys. Um, we'd love to hear what you guys are doing at home. I know you guys get to hear from us, but we also like to hear from uh, from you guys. So if you want to go, we have a Facebook page dedicated to us. So go on there, post pictures. We'd love to see your families or, or see what you guys are doing. Give us some ideas. I know being here longer than we expected, uh, we're always looking for something to do or, um, you know, just interacting somehow. So um, it'd be a way for us to all just stay connected and not just hear from us, but for, for you guys to share. So, um, I hope you guys get on Facebook and, and, and just show us what you guys are doing. Um, so, okay, let's get into the nightly devotional. The beauty inside God began doing good work in you and he will continue it until it is finished. When Jesus Christ comes again, Philippians 1, 6, stalactite, stalagmite. One grows up and one grows down. But which one is which? Here's a trick. Here's a trick. There's a C in stalactite, which grows from the ceiling. Stalactites and stalagmites are formations that grow inside limestone caves. When water flows down through the cave, it dissolves calcite, a part of the limestone, and it carries it through cracks in the ceiling. The water drips down and leaves behind tiny bits of the calcite. Over years of dripping, the calcite collects on the ceiling and the stalactite slowly forms like looking like a rocky icicle as water drips down the stalactite the to the cave floor more calcite collects on the floor this slowly forms into a stalagmite that's why the two formations are usually found together sometimes they even grow together to form a single column these hidden formations can be stunning in beauty and I have to wonder how many of them go unseen in undiscovered caves. Tucked inside the earth, these stunning stunning works of God's creation are made slowly over many years. In a similar way, God is creating an even more beautiful and stunning work inside you. Day by day, moment by moment, experience by experience, God is forming and shaping your heart to look just like his. It's a work that takes time all the years of your life, actually. But don't worry, God is patient and he promised it, that, he'll, that he'll keep working on you until you are made perfect in heaven. Thank you for being patient with me, God. And when I mess up, help me remember that you're still working on me. Be amazed, discovered by accident, the cave of crystals lies hidden a, a thousand feet beneath the Nika mine, which is located in Chihuahua, desert in Mexico. It's a magical and deadly place. Temperatures inside the cave of crystals can soar to 118 degrees with 90% humidity. So a person inside it can die within 30 minutes without the protection of a special suit. Inside the cavern, which is the size of a football field, enormous towers of sparkling white gypsum crystals sprout like icicles from the from the wall the floor and the ceiling making it look like a real world ice palace how amazing guys that our god of the universe created those beautiful stunning crystals um i think that's just awesome how they take their formation how that's developed and how they just form in that crystal look um and our god created those right um but he's also doing that with us. He's working with us and we're not perfect, but to know that God's perfect and that he's always working with us to be better, a better person. Um, and that's, and that's it. We just take that in and let God, let God work on us. And we just pray about it. Um, but I kind of want to share with you guys what, uh, my son and I collect. Um, we always collect rocks throughout the year. Um, he's lost a lot of them, but you know, we still have some of them and I just want to share with you. Like here's a small one. I know it looks like a white little rock, but it has some little, like, it looks like little clear, kind of, kind of looks like little clear crystals in it. And I, I you probably can't see it because, um, my camera is not what it needs to be to show you the, show you that, but that, I think those are beautiful. Here's another one. 
that uh, he picked out and it has sand all molded into the rock. So a, a, like looks like a black rock, but uh, this one's pretty. And I love to see this one. Um, and these sit in my bath bathroom tub. And here's my last one. And this one's beautiful because it's kind of shaped like a square, perfect square. And I thought that was pretty. Um, and it has some of that same crystal look in it. And I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe you can see it this way. Yeah. So see on the bottom, it's just so pretty. So this sits on my tub. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys. It's so nice to go out there and find these things that, that our God has created and those unique and rare ones, you know, and that stick out to us. But if you have any, post them on Facebook. I'd love to see what you guys, your rocks, if you collect rocks or anything you collect rocks or even crystals. I'd love to see some crystals too. So, um, just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, you guys are missed and we love you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow. So let's go ahead and close with our, our, our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for letting us unite still. In this way, Lord, we still can unite and, and get to interact with each other, Lord, and love one, one another, Lord. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Thank you for always working on us, and thank you for delivering your word to us tonight that we can be able to be taught and you can lead us and mold us to the person you want us to be, Lord. You say that you will finish the good work in us, Lord. And we, we believe that and we love you so much, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done for us, Lord. And thank you for our salvation. And all these things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.